Hi, thank you for watching and thank you for my new subscribers. Um, I haven't been on here for some time. I've been just really super duper 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 busy with life. I'm sorry, my dog distracted me. Um, and so, you know, I relocated to a different apartment um, that was much more larger um, in November of last year and then had to relocate again because the energy was just off. Um, and so where I am now is so much more peaceful, so much more clean, so much more um, gratifying. Um, we love coming home. We love hanging out at home, you know. Um, so much more room. We have a backyard where we can just sit out there and just hang out in the morning and do a meditation. Um, before where we used to live, um, we lived in a building. And so on the sixth floor, it was nice, great view. I mean, I would not change it for the world. However, um, you know, being out closer, you know, in a community is what's more important as I get older. And with that said, I um, have grown so much, you know, these past, I would say a year. I'm not, I was going to say a, some months, but really um, these past two years, you know, I became a vegan <clears throat> two months ago, and I've been sticking to that. I have been a vegetarian off and on for a year, and then straight vegetarian for about two years. Um, and recently made up my mind that I'm not going to flip-flop anymore, that my health is the most important thing to me right now, and why should I harm another being on the planet so that I can eat um, when there's so much more out there that I can eat that doesn't have to spare the life of an animal. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's unnecessary. It's just like it's unnecessary to kill an animal for, you know, a belt. <laughs> just stupid stuff like that. Um, I no longer, you know, comply to. It's not a, it's not something that I would spend much time indulging in like I used to. So, my priorities have changed. Um, although I'm a vegan, I'm now dabbling into becoming a raw foodist. You know, um, I do love cook foods. That has always been something um, that is dear to my heart because I love being at the table and eating with my friends and family um, and enjoying everybody's company. Um, and I know I can do that too as well with being a raw foodist. Um, but I do love, um, when my food is warm and something about warm food on a tummy. And I, and I think it also has to do with living in, you know, the East coast, um, Northeast coast of America. You know, we have a lot of cold months and, you know, ideally being a raw foodist is a little bit more difficult access to you know, fruits and vegetables that you would eat that doesn't have to be warmed up, you know. Um, it'll be nice. So that's in the future of moving to a warmer climate for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, so I have been studying so much, you know, 
about life and spirituality and um, my whole purpose of, of being here. And it's been very humbling. Mm -hmm. Growing, you know, I want to say growing pains, but at the same time, it's, it's not really painful. It's uncomfortable. And once you get over that fear of allowing certain parts of yourself to die off, once you get over that fear, it's and just let go and let the creator, the universe, um, be in control. Life just seems to be more fluid, more flowing, you know, more aligned. Things open up, doors open up easily, you know. Um, so it's a beautiful thing. It's really, really a beautiful thing. Um, I, I don't know if I've told you guys too as well, in addition to making jewelry, and this is one of my pieces, um, I also, I'm also a massage therapist, you know, um, so I have my own practice here and I spend a lot of time, you know, building that as well as spending time with my family, um. And, you know, making jewelry is a hobby of mine. And so I'll be making more jewelry come the end of this month. I'm so excited that I'll be working with metals um, at the end of the month. So I'll be, be able to present you guys with more um, different variety of pieces, you know, instead of just beaded jewelry. Um, so I'm excited, 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 excited about that. Um, you know, art is such an outlet for me that I enjoy it so much because it helps me to just escape the boxes that sometimes people put us in and sometimes we put ourselves in, you know, um, but you escape to this place and it's unlimited. It's infinite. The potential is, you know you know it's going to be very satisfying, you know, because you have no idea what this project is going to turn into. It may turn into one thing or it may turn into a billion, a billion and, you know, zillion, <laughs> making up words now, billion other things, you know, and um, it's great. The eyes of the artist. I think I might title one of my photo albums that the eyes of an artist. You know, everything that we see, <clears throat> everything that we see, some one, someone created it. And people are still creating. You look at technology, it's constantly changing all the time. You know, people are coming up with so much different services to provide to people, you know, um, you ever watch the show called Shark Tank? It's an amazing show. Um, and, you know, I haven't watched it in a while because I, I don't watch TV um, anymore. But those are one of the shows that I, I really do miss is Shark Tank. You know, these people, when you hear their, their pitch, their ideas, you know, some is like off the wall, but majority of... You know, these people have great ideas. I would say 90% of these people have great ideas. And you, when you think everything has been created already, no. <laughs> no. So if it wasn't for artists, the world would be so boring. And I think that's also why we came in not looking like each other. Because the world would be so boring I would be bored <laughs> so with that said um, we're going on about 10 minutes now um, with that said I am so grateful to be at a pace a place of peace and calm in my life um, I 
am so thankful for my family and the support system that I have. Um, I'm so thankful um, for the creator to give me the vision and these hands to make magic um, and having fun while I'm doing it and be able to touch other people's lives while I'm doing it, you know. So thank you for watching and I will be back soon again. Um, I'm going to be making another video regarding this delicious, if I can just show it to you, this is my, about my second serving. I've been addicted to this chocolate um, avocado mousse, coconut mousse for like the past two weeks.